I can play GTA 5, Destiny, any of your favorite games using this. What's up guys and welcome back to The Hackspot. Today's video I have another exciting one. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play your PS4 games, PlayStation 4, on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. This is just so cool, it's called PlayStation Switch. Just kidding. But anyways, I was surprised at how well this works, and it's also fairly simple to set up. So, let's get started. Alright, so this will work on any iOS-based device. So, your iPad Pro- wait, one second, sorry. Your iPad Pro, your iPod Touch, and of course, your iPhone. So guys, what you want to do first is open up the App Store that's available inside the App Store, and head over to the search, and in the search, type in Play Mira. So it's P-L-A-Y-M-I-R-A, I'll put a link down below in the description. But here it is, here's the app, and yeah, so download this, it is $10, but yeah, in this video you can decide whether you actually want it, and if it's worth it for you. So yeah, pretty cool stuff, take a look at the screenshots, you get on-screen controls, or you can play with a MFI controller made for iPhone controller, or even a DualShock 4 controller, so it's really, really cool stuff. But anyways, once you have downloaded it, here is the app right over, there it is. Ooh, I'm gonna move this somewhere else. Alright, cool. Now, just a quick disclaimer, if you download this from Vshare or any website like that for free, it won't work. It actually checks to make sure that you bought it from the App Store. So again, if you download from Vshare or anywhere else, it will have an error. So yeah. But anyways, once you go to open up this app, Here's what it looks like. It's pretty simple. It's in landscape. And what you want to do first is tap on the settings gear on the bottom left. And here, it will say register new PS4. So we're going to tap on that button. And here, you want to type in our PSN online ID. So mine is Proclaimed Gamer, just like that. Make sure you got the capitalizations right too. So my P is capital, my G is capital too. So type in exactly how it is on a PlayStation ID. And now we need the eight digit registration number. So to get this, you want to fire up your PS4. All right. So once it is on, I've got my dual. Shock 4 right here. We're gonna go ahead and log in real quick and let me go and do that. Alright, so once you are in, you want to head over to your settings. So I'm gonna go right here at the top settings. And what you want to do now is scroll down until you find remote play. So it should be right here, remote play connection settings. Go ahead and hit X. And I don't know, I just like to enable this as well just to make sure. But yeah, guys, before you do this, make sure your PS4 and your iOS device are connected to the same router. So the same Wi-Fi and once they are. By the way, if you have a 5 gigahertz network, go ahead and select that instead because... It will run a lot smoother. If you have 2.4 gigahertz, it might not run as smooth. And that's judging from my experience. So there you go. We are connected to Wi-Fi. And again, we are connected to the same Wi-Fi network on the PS4 here as well. So anyways, click on add device now. And here you'll get a code. Now, it does give you a little time limit right there. Okay, so there's my code. And I typed it in my iPhone right here. So just double check to make sure that they match. And now all I have to do is click on the register button on the top right. So once you click on register, it will register your PS4. And boom, that's it. Your PS4 is now registered. Click on OK. And you can configure some options right here. But yeah, guys, there's a connection quality test. You can make sure that everything is working. You got the resolution right there. We could choose. I'm going to do 540p to make sure everything runs smoothly. And we can choose a frame rate. So 30 FPS or 60 FPS. Again, you need better internet for that. My internet is decent, so I'm just gonna stick with 30 frames per second. And yeah, you have the on-screen controller and so much more. Again, if you have a made-for-iPhone controller, the little control knobs on the side, you can play using that as well, so it's really, really cool stuff. Now, to actually play, hit the back button, and now simply just tap on the play button and play Mira. It'll start connecting, just take a second, and boom. Take a look at that, that was super quick, and now we have these on-screen controls, so I can go ahead and go up, down, do whatever I want. It's just a PS4 DualShock 4. The volume, everything works. So let me turn it up. Pretty cool stuff. All right, there's Watch Dogs. Let's hit X. And let's go and launch this game. It, this is absolutely amazing, guys. I'm playing PS4 on my iPhone 7. That's insane. Woo! <laughs> That's so cool. All right. Anyways, the game's loading up. And again, by the way, you can also play with your DualShock 4. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. All right, here we are. So let's go ahead and just hit X. All right, and we are in. So we're playing Watch Dogs on our phone right here. You can also use a joystick, so just drag it right here. And the camera. Yeah, it does run pretty smoothly for the most part. Again, it all depends on your internet connection. But yeah, kind of hard to play with, with touching controls, but it still does work. I think R2. Yeah, R2. I haven't played this game in a long time. I forgot how to run. Let's go ahead and take a car real quick. Okay, I'll just take the mini van. minivan. There we go. That's how we roll, guys. We take the minivan. But yeah, everything does work, as you guys can see. And now let me show you guys how to play using your DualShock 4. All right, so to bring up your PS4 controls, all you do is swipe up from here. And there you have share, PlayStation options, or quit. So we're going to click quit. Now, to use a DualShock 4, what you want to do is go back to settings, go back to register a new PS4. And what you want to do is create a secondary account 
on your PS4 that you're going to log into right here. I'm just gonna use my brother's account, his PlayStation ID right there. And let's go ahead and type in a new registration code. All right, so again, same thing. You want to go into Fire Up Prepares for Controller and you want to go into Switch Accounts. I'm gonna X out of here. Let's go into Switch Accounts and let's go to Power, Switch User, and I'm gonna go and switch to my brother's account. And what we're going to do is go back to settings and use a new code. So go back up here, settings, go down, remote play and connection. And now we have to do add device. And again, let's use that new code. Okay, so there it is. And there it is on my device. So just hit register. And it'll register again. It'll take a second. Hit okay. All right, so here I am outside, kind of a gloomy day, but anyways, I just want to show you guys that my iPhone could still connect to my PS4 even here. All I have to do is be able to connect to Wi-Fi, and there you go, hit play, and it'll start connecting. Take a look at that, guys. How awesome is this? Again, everything still works. Let me turn up the volume. And there you go. So, you're going to go up and down, do anything that you want, play your PS4 games. And again, if you have a made for iPhone controller, you can use that. Otherwise, if you have a DualShock 4, again, you can still use that. But the DualShock 4 does have to connect to your PS4, not your iPhone. So you do have to be closer to your PS4 for the DualShock to work. Alright, so how do you connect your DualShock 4? Well, again, you have to be close enough to your PS4 and connect it to your secondary account on your PS4 secondary account. And now what we gotta do is turn on our PS4 controller. Bam, and it'll ask us which one do we want to connect to. So as I see, we have a little controller icon right there for our secondary account. So you want to connect to the one that does not have that. So there's my other one, and let's go and hit X. And there you go. Now it does work. You might have to press your PlayStation button one more time, but here it is. Everything does work. So yeah, here we are, and it's probably hard to see the screen, but it's uh, kind of hard to get a good angle on this, but... Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead and just load up. Um, okay, all these games, like, need updates because I haven't played PS4 in a while. Ooh, let's do Dungeon Defenders. Hopefully this updated. That's, this is gonna be awesome, guys. Look at that. That's just so cool. <laughs> I'm playing this on my iPhone 7. I love the graphics of this game. Alright, guys, so here we are. We got a little mage right here. If you guys haven't played this game, try it, but take a look at this, guys. It's a cool Halloween-themed game, and yeah, everything does work perfectly fine. Very, very cool stuff. Again, you can play GTA 5, Destiny, any of your favorite games using this. Oh, and by the way, you can also play this anywhere as long as you're connected to internet. If you just follow these steps, so tap on the little question mark on the bottom right, and here, you will find an option in blue that says playing over the internet. Go ahead and tap on that button. So it's right up, up over here, but it is a little bit complicated, so I thought I wouldn't show in this video because I haven't done it myself. But yeah, you have to make some changes to your router settings and stuff like that, but if you do want to play anywhere, you can just follow these steps and just play this anywhere on the go. So at the coffee shop, at an airport, or just anywhere you want, just as long as you're connected to internet. Alright, so really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video, enjoy playing your PS4 games on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Definitely be sure to hit that like button and get subscribed so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. A lot more cool stuff coming, so again, get subscribed. But anyways, happy Halloween, I'll catch you guys real soon in my next video. Peace out.